Shalom, shalom. My name is Anat Morad, and I'm here to represent the most narcissistic state to the Jews, Israel. Israel is the most beautiful country, and we have been occupying it from the Palestinians. What does it mean, occupying it? It means we make it our own country. We are very lucky because God said we are his chosen people. So it's very, very easy for us because God told us to go take it. So now we take it. It's as simple as that. So what if there's people there? Fuck them. Wouldn't you do the same? Of course you would. And sometimes we send them to refugee camp. Not only we send them to refugee camp, we bomb the refugee camp if they try to get out. It's good. What else do we do? Yes. We say their country never existed. Isn't that lovely? They never get mad. They stay cool, calm, and collected, as if nothing happened. No, they get mad, children. And if they get mad, we call them a terrorist. A terrorist. It's our favorite word in Hebrew. There is no better word than the word terrorist. It makes us feel so elated because we are the chosen ones. And even if we occupy someone's land, they should not be allowed to rebel because we are God's chosen puppies. You know what else we do, children? We cut off their supply of water whenever we want to because also we are chosen and we are always right, never wrong. We are so right that we tell them how to live. We tell them when they can stay at home and when they can go out. We call it curfew. Every time we have a Jewish holiday, we put them on curfew. So what if they need to go to the hospital? Fuck them. If they leave the house, we shoot them. They are Palestinians, not humans. Only we are human. So said the rabbi. And what else is no children? If your parents watch, they might be mad that you are seeing politics. This is politics of adults. We are very smart adults. We kill countries, we bomb countries, and we just take everything. And if they dare to complain, we call them terrorists. So now, children, you also know what the word of terrorist means. Terrorist. What is it? Aha. Now you know. And that was a lesson in politics for children by Anat Moran, who loves children more than life itself. Take care, Metukim. Don't grow up. Bye-bye.